Hey, this is Dave coming at you from Southeast Michigan again. Um, today we're installing windows. We've been installing them for the last couple days. Um, I'm actually going to be able to show it as it happens on some of these. Um, but anyways, let me go in here. First of all, this will be kind of a review on Marvin windows, which are not the best kind of windows, but they're a little bit above like a builder grade. Um, they're actually made of fiberglass. And fiberglass is a, a good choice if you're willing to put a little extra money towards it because, it, first of all, it's non-flammable. Um, it's known to not expand and contract like uh, vinyl would. It holds up forever. There's uh, very little to no sun fading over many decades. I've never used them before, so I'm just going by what, what it says. But, um, yeah, they're a good window so far um, as far as... Installing them. It's been pretty easy. Our rough frames have been pretty good um, We've been basically very little shimming at all on the sill that they've basically been just been going in and if we do have to shim them It's like less than an eighth of an inch But uh, let me go over what we're doing my son and um, his friend Chris. He's been helping us for a little while um, They're about ready to put one in right now, and I have a couple stages of how the tape is supposed to go we went ahead and got the tape that they recommend, which is extremely expensive. It's like $100 a roll for 150 feet of it. And um, yeah, but this is how we've been doing these. I'll, I'll show you how we tape them, but let's start at the first step. I have a couple done. I got my little obstacle course here. We got the bow windows, the bow windows on this side done. Kind of a strange window, but it's cool. It's narrow and it's a five foot window, so they couldn't make it to where it opens. So those side ones are fine to not open. And we went with like the muttons on the top. Um, we, there's options of obviously no muttons and then muttons on the bottom, top, and then all of it. But we figured that all of it was a little bit too much. So we just did the top for decoration. All right. Are you guys working hard or hardly working? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of both. Okay, so the instructions on Marvin Windows, basically with the Tyvek, shows, let me see if I can get this a little bit better. All you do is cut the flush of the Tyvek off, same with the top two outside 45s cut that way and peel the top up for just for now. The inside will still fold in and staple to the inside of the wall stud. Down here it's a little bit different. I just have this stapled temporarily but they want you to come up at least two inches, two to three inches this way. Cut that out, slice this, pull this back and then so now we have that. That's kind of like the first stage. The reason why you pull that up is because they want, when the nailing flange goes on, they want the nail flange with the caulk going directly on the OSB. Then you pull that over the nail flange and then you tape. So a little added protection, I guess, if any water gets behind the siding, it's not going to trail in under that window flange and make its way into your drywall. It's going to still pour out on the top of the window flange, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Although in this case, there's like an eight foot overhang on this one, but you know, on all the other ones. Okay, so here's the next step. And it's nice because they actually come with, uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. these flans aren't the rigid ones, like the cheaper windows, those actually kind of fold in so we can put all the windows in from the inside, slide it out a little bit, pull the flanges out. Okay, so this is what it looks like when the window's pretty much prepped. So let me actually climb in the inside. I'll show you from the inside better. Go slow so it's, no one gets dizzy. So it's a great product. It's called straight flashing, which is the normal one for the straight. But this is like flex wrap, which basically makes it to where when you put the tape on, you can put it on the outside corner without creating a point that would need to be caulked. Anytime you do an outside flange corner, 
you're going to be forced to caulk it if it's on a manufactured thing that's either pre-welded, molded, or in this case, flex tape. It just flexes around it. So this piece back here isn't even recommended. And I'm actually having my window guy bring me more tape because I've been putting one down on the pan when he says only this one's recommended. And then later, what they want you to do is they want you to put a bead of caulk right here all the way across, all the way to the other side. So if water does get down on here over time, if it does actually start traveling in, it will actually hit a dam of caulk right there and can't get into your drywall and your trim. So basically, they want this to be six inches or more up on each side, easy enough. And then, we, like I said, we've been just putting this extra one in. And then after that, they want you to put a piece of like a 12 inch piece here diagonally to cover that outside flex because it only goes down about an inch and a half on the outsides where you flex it around. This one here, but before you do that, once you put the two bottom ones in, they want you to take the tie back and wrap it in and staple it. Then you put the diagonal piece here. And then after you put the diagonal, where this was cut two or three inches up this way, they want you to put another one wrapping inside here. And that's basically how you prop the window. Let me show you the tape real quick. This is what the box, this box is going to look like. DuPont straight flash. And they, this stuff is recommended for the actual brand Tyvek for the house wrap. So a lot of times when you're buying this higher end stuff, there's warranties and the way that we're installing it ensures that there's a warranty if there's anything that goes wrong, as long as we use their stuff. So here's the tape. This is the narrower stuff. This is not, it has a little bit of flex to it, but it's not as flexible as the flexible stuff. And it's narrower, it's four inches. The other one is like six inches, but that will stretch about 10 to 12 inches wide. I'm assuming that stuff is extremely expensive. This stuff right here, um, I don't know for sure what I paid for that just because we, I, we have enough of the actual straight flex. The only spot we've been using that where it's required is actually right on the sill where it wraps around to the outside wall on the bottom of the window. This stuff is like used for the second piece we've been putting in, the side pieces, um, and then all of the tape around the outside windows, which I'll so, show you in a minute. But yeah, this stuff here is like really stretchy. Like you can step on it, it's just like, it just stretches. Now it won't stretch now because it has the back to it, but it it's meant to flash around the outside bottom corners without creating a point that needs to be caulked is basically what that is. Okay, so let me go out here. I'll walk this way. I don't want to climb down anything crazy. We're really happy because we thought we were going to need the machine for this one. This one weighs about 250 pounds. And my son and I did a pretty good job framing that wall, seeing that we don't frame for a living. When you look at a window that size and you have literally about three eighths of an inch around the whole top and bottom, and it's literally exactly three eighths of an inch around the entire thing. It's perfectly plumb and square. And for a window to go in that big into an opening like that, we get a we get a 9.5 on that. And so we get all, all these around. I'm trying to find one that's lower. Yeah, let's just go over here. I'll show you how you do the outside taping. But yeah, as far as a, a window is concerned, it's really good and it just these are really easy to turn and they're a little, you know, tight to push up, but that's because it's they're nice and sealed. I mean, they're, they're just, I think they're going to be a really nice window. They're not going to be fun to paint, but but here's the atrium. This one's going to need the machine because it's up about the bottom of the sill is about 15 feet off the ground, and that one they said weighs even a little bit more than the other one just because there's more. Like that's a two by six pine select in there. It's just more meaty and it's it's heavy. That one's a, that's a big boy. All right, let's go over here. We'll show the final step of uh, Marvin fiberglass windows. Okay, so once the prep's done with the two tapes, the X tape, and you can see it a little bit better now on here how under these pieces of tape, you've got 
the X piece that goes around the straight flex back. You can't see that, the X one. And then you have this one that wraps under behind, like in the last window I showed you. And then once that's done, what we do is we put the window and get the flange. And then my salesman, it's, it's recommended. I don't know if it's for sure with warranty, but it's an extra step that you have to do. But we did it, is you take silicone caulk and you put a, a bead of it right behind the nailing flange, right where the nails are gonna go in. And it sounds like it's gonna be messy, but as long as you cut the tube kind of thin and make sure you have a nice, even, thin bead of caulk behind there, you, you nail the nails in, a little bit of caulk comes out where the nails are, but your, your hammer is what gets it the most. You don't really get any of it on you, but basically they recommend caulking this nailing flange and the two sides and not the bottom, because if water does get in there, you actually do want that to get through there. So. That's why they don't recommend the bottom. So then what you do is once the top and the sides are caulked and the window is shimmed and plumbed and everything's square, you wanna kinda, now we didn't measure diagonal. A lot of people will measure diagonal to make sure that they even have a square window, but these, we did not like one, but come to find, they're just perfectly square. When they come, when they ship them, they're super tight. You know, they, have, they come with these foam things that when the window locks down, there's foam pieces that are in the bottom of each one. And so when the window's locked, when you first open it, it kind of pops up. They're like super locked in tight. Um, it's probably for shipping, but it might also be just to keep them square. But from what we found, the windows are pretty much perfectly square. But anyways, you caulk the top two sides, pull the flanges out, slide the window in, plumb it, level the window, make sure it's nice and square, nail it in. And then once you nail it in, the first thing you're gonna do, all we've been doing is whatever the window measurement is, you add eight inches and then the two horizontal ones, whatever that window size is, add eight inches to the tape, cut two of those, whatever the, the vertical measurement is, add eight inches to that, cut two of those. And then the first piece of tape you put in is this one. And then you put the two side ones so they overlap over those. And then you put the top one in and it overlaps the two tops. Now, this is the first window we did, I think, and we kind of messed up a little bit. They recommend that the tape wraps up onto the side of this, and we didn't see that. And so, but we're not gonna change it because that's still sealed, and this is sealed, and for water to, there's also gonna be brick molding that goes on here, which also has a bead of quad caulk on top of that. And then the siding is gonna go to the brick, and then that's gonna be quad caulked. So we're, we're leaving it, but on, on, on all the rest of them, we actually wrap this tape up about halfway on to the actual window frame. We basically just looked at the instructions after we did one or two of them and we realized, wait, you have to wrap the tape a little bit, which makes sense because then it seals this uh, where the track pops in as well. So that's the only thing. And then what happens is you'll have overlap over on the top. So you just slice the little slat with your knife and, and overlap it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you install these. And uh, from what I see, I, I would r highly recommend uh, Marvin fiberglass windows. And uh, that's about it. That wraps up today's video. And I'm glad to finally have a little bit more content for you guys. And uh, we're just getting them in. All right, this is Dave from uh, Michigan, signing off.